everybody, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas. In our last video, I showed you how to make the carnation and the daffodil. In this video, we'll be making the hyacinth and the bachelor's button and putting it all together to make this cute card. So first, we're going to work on this hyacinth. It's really easy to do. We're going to use our pom-pom flower die. It looks like this. It cuts a strip as well as slits in the paper at the same time. So for the hyacinth, you're going to need um, a strip of paper that you've run through the die cut machine. Here I have two. And you start off making the hyacinth just the same way that you did making the carnation. Just take your bone folder and soften the paper where the slits are. That way it'll avoid cracking the paper when we go to bend it. And your paper will be more likely to bend rather than fold and we want nice loops. Now take your double-sided tape and run it along the long side of the paper. Now bring the other side of the paper over and press it into the adhesive. Try to make sure that you don't crease your loops and you see because we softened the paper it's not creasing or cracking. Place another line of double-sided tape along the long side of the paper and give it a good burnish. Now here's something else I like to do. After I put the adhesive on, I like to run the paper through my fingers and soften up even more. The tape helps give the paper a little bit of strength so it won't tear, or won't tear as easily. And it's important to use a nice heavy-duty weight of paper. Now take your tweezers and start rolling into the adhesive so that the edge of the paper just catches into the adhesive. And take care not to squish those loops. You want the loops to be nice and full. Now just keep rolling until you get the hyacinth to the length that you want it to be. I think just a little bit further. Now I'm going to snip it right off and give it a good squish so the adhesive really catches. Now give the loops a little zhuzh and maybe shape the flower a little bit. And there you have it, a super cute hyacinth. Now we're going to be making this bachelor's button. I think it's really, really cute. And it's really easy to make, too. We're going to be using the same die, the pom-pom flower die. And we're not going to use all of the die cut. We're just going to be using half for each flower. So take a piece of double-sided adhesive. And just like the other flowers, you're going to run the adhesive along the long side of the paper. And in this case, we are going to be folding the piece of paper, so we're not going to need to burnish or soften the center loops. So bend over the other side of the paper, and then snip the loops open. Then I'm going to run the piece of paper through my fingers and soften it up a little bit. So you can see why I suggested using a nice heavy duty cardstock. This particular cardstock is one of my favorite. It's from Bow Bunny. It's the double dot cardstock. It's got patterns on both sides. I just love it. It actually almost feels like leather when you work it. Before we roll it, we're going to add some thread so that they'll look like the stamens of the bachelor's buttons. Take some black thread and take your two fingers and just wrap the thread around your two fingers a couple of times, one or two times, maybe three, so that you have some. Then just place the loops right into the adhesive. Now we can start rolling just like we did with the carnations. Roll right into the adhesive.
at the end of the strip, we're going to give it a good squish so that the adhesive really, really sticks. Now we're going to take our scissors and just snip the loops open. And fluff out the petals. Now just take the tips of the thread and dip them in some white glue. Then those tips get a nice dunking in some sparkly white glitter. And the bachelor button's done. It's pretty cute. Just put it on a glue dot and it's ready to embellish. So let's put the card together. We're going to be using another one of our cut up dies, the heart swirl. So I simply take two pieces of paper, put the good sides together, and then run them through the die cut machine. That will give us mirror images of the heart swirl. See? Mirror images. Now let's get to stampin'. I'm going to be using just the sentiment from our real expert set, live well, love much, laugh often. I'm going to use a little VersaFine Olympic Green to stamp on this 3 inch white circle. And I'm going to stamp it a little bit higher than center because the bottom area is going to be covered by flowers. Now the card is going to be really weighted down by all those flowers, so I'm going to want to put something above the sentiment just to balance it out a little bit. So I'm going to be using these nice big pink rhinestones. Maybe just three. Plus, I love that little bit of bling. And maybe a little rhinestone in that little heart in the love, just for a little bit of shine. Now let's assemble the rest of the card. Now here's a little tip for making a perfectly balanced flag. On the side that I want the flag, I find the center, and then I make a little crease. At the center, I cut up as far as I want the little point to be, and then trim to the center cut from the corners. That will give me a perfect flag every time, and it'll be nice and neat even. Little glue stick and then I trim the little mat that I want underneath the flag. And because the glue stick doesn't dry right away, I can adjust the flag to make it perfect. This is a three and a quarter piece of craft paper that I cut a circle from. Put a little bit of foam tape on the back and it's going to be the perfect mat for the white circle. I always think that putting foam tape on the back always makes something a little bit more special. This is a four and a quarter by eleven inch piece of cardstock and I want it to be a top folding card just because of all the weight. I don't want it to fall over. Now a pretty piece of pattern paper that I'm just going to corner punch. This is an old corner punch that I have from McGill. If you don't have this punch, you can use any punch really. Just something to soften the corner a bit. Now I'm going to attach this pattern piece of paper onto a piece of craft paper. Adjust it a bit. A little bit more glue stick. And then attach it to the front of my card. Add the sentiment. and the flag
and I'm going to tuck the flag underneath the white circle just in case it shows underneath the flowers. There you go. This looks good. Now we're ready for the flowers after I straighten up a bit. Okay, let's place our mirror heart swirls on the card. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of glue. I don't really need that much. I just want to tack it in place because I'm going to I'm going to be putting the flowers over them and those are going to help secure them even further. First the hyacinth. I'm going to use a nice sturdy glue dot to, to attach it to the card. Now the little carnations. Oops, lost a little blue dot. Now the daffodil. And then I'm going to slip the little bachelor's buttons right behind the daffodil. So cute. Look how fast this came together. So here I've shown you how to make the flowers for this card, but you can go ahead and make something bigger, like this wreath that I made. I used the bigger carnations. For the hyacinth, I used two die cuts put together. What a cute housewarming gift this would be. You could give the wreath and the matching card. I hope you had fun learning how to make spring flowers with our cut-ups dies. Thanks for coming.